paint is pretty smooth and I'm worried about painting over that and I don't have any primer so I'm gonna rough it up give it a little tooth something for the paint to stick to with some fine grit sandpaper I have no idea what grit that is but it's pretty smooth that way it doesn't chew it up too bad I just want to rough it up a little bit and actually a little green under this white paint where I scraped away or sanded away a little too much you can see there's it started turning green I don't know if that's some kind of rust prevention or what but anyway we've got a little we have some light sanding done on it a little too much in some spots obviously but I think that's probably good Fourth night at North Base. Decided to camp out just one more night. It's pretty slow around here. There's not too many trucks. Oh, there's a new truck that showed up way down there. Oh, and there's the van's back. So, I decided to stay a fourth night, but now I'm going to get out of here. I need groceries. There's an Albertsons here, but they're kind of expensive, and I've been shopping at Winco too long to pay those kinds of prices so I'm gonna go find a Winco get me some stuff I'm out of eggs and some sort of potatoes sausage give me some good breakfast stuff and uh, I think I'm gonna clean up the RV this is all done all nice and dry smooth I like it really shiny that's probably gonna stand out more than I was thinking it was gonna sh probably should have got flat that's what we're doing gonna take a shower and move to Winco found the rest of my vacuum caps now I can finally put the last the finishing piece on the submissions delete there we go that's just the inlet into the air box so I'm gonna head up, just got done with the shower. I'm gonna head up to the rest stop since North Base is just a couple of miles down from a rest stop. And over for heading south, so I wanna make sure I dump all my tanks and get my dishes done, dump tanks, fill up water. We are out of water. Propane's still good. Got cheap belts or what? Just 
spritz a little water on the pulley and it chirp went away for a little bit. So I know it's the belt squeaking and not like the water pump or something. I guess it's just squeaking we're gonna have to deal with. I don't know. Serpentine belt squeaking. up some belt dressing or something I think they I think it's called belt dressing they make something specifically for that I think I just don't think that's a proper fix anyway we'll deal with that later uh, at least something I'm forgetting Okay, dishes are just about done. Just gotta wash the pan and lid. Shut the engine off. I keep forgetting I got the Jenny set up now, all good to go. And I do believe that is quite a bit more fuel efficient for charging batteries. It's just a little bit more loud, but I am in a rest stop. So, I'm gonna go ahead and run it. Shut off the inverter. Um.
sitting too while I got the generator power. Flip that to two. A better job vacuuming too. I didn't move things out of the way last time, so I'm gonna move these water jugs and move my pile of shoes that are collecting under the dining table and uh, move some of this stuff around and just really get it good coming in and out with these shoes. Um, I don't always remember to take them off, I track a lot of grit in here. Dishes are done, vacuuming's done, feels good. Nice feels. Nice feels nice when the carpet's all fluffy and clean after vacuuming. I love vacuuming. It's my favorite pastime. Which is also the first thing I ever took apart. It was a vacuum cleaner. Okay, so we're gonna let the batteries. Probably just let that generator go till it runs out of gas. There's not too much fuel left in it, I don't think. Uh, let's see here, we've got out the scanner from under the bed. I think I may go ahead and install this at some point here. Let's put it out so I remember. I got picked up just some brackets, some uh, corner braces. And uh, we'll just put one on each side and mount it right there or something and we're gonna get some video editing I'm gonna take a quick look around I think we went on that trail last time we were here, but uh, I'm not in the exploring mood or else we'd go adventuring. So it's pretty empty. It's like uh, four trucks here right now, including me. Everyone else is gone.
So yeah, not much, not too much activity here at the rest area. I'm thinking I might actually try and stay the night for the first time at a rest area. Ugh. Columbus Day tomorrow, huh? Ah, that's why we're watching Avengers 2, Age of Ultron, caught up through all the Thor movies. Good, good show. Okay. Yeah, I think we're going to stay the night here. Completely out of water, and I just, I don't know what holding tank is, who knows how full that is, I need new sensors. But uh, yeah, we'll stay the night and we'll dump our stuff on the way out.